<laughs> Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. <laughs> You're going that to be sadly disappointed on that. Must I always endure <laughs> such praise? Super Raptor here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. So, about to go on inside here into the Jose Temple and see if we can't get ourselves another Aeon. So, let's head on in, see what we can do. I'll be honest, this uh, this temple was a little more confusing, so it'll take me a little longer. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's not the douchebag. I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? Or should I say the kind? I am Summoner Yuna. Whatever, you get my point. As I thought, it's not the one summoner that's a complete the ass. Daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. Pretty well forgot about this guy. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a so. summoner. Like you. Pleased to meet you. What is that, dude? And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. Yeah, hopefully. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Yeah, well. of course. I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? I guess. Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Absolutely. See? Why can't the other one be like this dude? You know, not a complete bitch. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I guess I'll run in these side rooms. I can't remember if there's chests in there or not. But I'm gonna check. Let me just snag this real quick. There we go. And then we'll head on in. Hey, you. Yeah, what? Me? What's up? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Yep. Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. What is it? I heard it from those crusaders. Uh-huh. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. Well, it could just be that's the interesting. Got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry, I don't know more. In other words, they're being targeted. Watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? Yeah, true. What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Yep. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? I'm sure. <laughs> Please be careful. Will do. Thanks for the heads up. Passe. Oh, yeah, you just gonna stand there and like We're stare leaving. at me or something? Be right there. <laughs> Later, dude. Hey. The cloister of trial. Absolutely, now get the hell out of my way. <laughs> yeah. All right, guardians, at attention. We are ready. All right, let's do it. Damn right. Let's see if we can figure this one out. Hey. So clearly. This is the start. We got two spots for some orbs or spheres, whatever the hell they call them in here. We'll pop these babies on in. There we go. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I kind of remember this one a little bit. I think it actually took me a little bit though to figure out. Alright. Uh can't touch the clip. 
Okay, I was trying to see if I could touch that, but I guess not. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens when we throw a couple of these things in here. Remember, right, we gotta like open that door. And then we can, uh, I think, push it in to like, I don't know, some big electricity trap and jump over or something. Or, okay, maybe we're supercharging. Okay, let's, uh, let's just push this on over there. That's right, yeah, I think one had to be supercharged. Man, it's great going back to an old game that you used to love. Alright, okay, so now we got our supercharged one. Right, let's run over here and hit this thing. Yeah. I gotta figure out where the hell this goes. Oh, wait, I think I see it. Hang on. Right here? Or maybe it needed to stay in there and then I needed to push it in. I'm gonna try that first. Let me let me let me take this out, throw it back in, and then I'm gonna move it over. Probably got like a million people probably already trying to yell at me, but like I said, it's been a while. No, 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 not not that one. This one. Nope. Okay. Yep. That was the right thing to do. I, I definitely screwed that up. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure you had to have uh, something in these though. So let me uh, let me go ahead and take these out. Throw this back in here. There we go. That opens up. And if I remember right, you actually had to have one on each side. Or at the very least, I'm going to take that precaution because, I mean, you know, we're talking about a circuit here, I guess. Right, let's push this baby on in here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, let's hop on over. Can I, can I, yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, oh. Okay. Let's push that in. Never mind. There's the eye. Yeah, I guess go over here and bring it back. And then. I guess we need to take these to wherever this is. Guess back here. Yeah, okay. If I remember right, there's an it takes you to an upper floor. There's something you gotta do with that like super sphere. I think to get the treasure chest in here. It's been a little while, but again, we'll see. There's our wings lit up. Hell yeah. And then, for the last one, we just need to take this here. Alright, pop this baby in here. There we go. And then that should turn, yep, into a pad. Come up. And we can go upstairs. Hell yeah. May have been years since I played this game, but it's not completely gone from me. Alright. Let's see here. I cannot remember how this worked. We gotta push all these in. Not leaving with, unless we get that chest. Sure, absolutely. We gotta get all of it because we need it for all the aeons later on. Yeah, pop this baby in. That should be it. All 
Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, just gotta figure out uh, how to get it to blow up the wall. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, there we go. Now we got something. Yeah, okay. There we go. Didn't catch that before. Now we need to head on up here. And throw this baby into this. And boom. Yeah. Took me a minute to figure it out, but hey, I figured it out. That's what matters. We grab this. And now we can head on upstairs. Yay. Get your ass on in there, Yuna. We need you to get that A on. Open sesame. Open sesame or we're gonna rip this thing open. There we go. Instead well, of threatening it a little bit. Again. Oh god, Still it's the cunt. Quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You Look, you can fuck off, you hooker. <laughs> you are Aaron, no? Yeah. What He's a it? badass. Can I shake your hand? Aaron. No. Sir Aaron, you're the reason I became a guardian. Yeah, only reason you've even got anybody to protect you. So you better start respecting me. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? <laughs> and you call yourself a summoner? Yeah, well, she is kind of a bitch. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have it tough with that hooker. <laughs> Yay! I don't remember how this one works, but I guess I'll talk to some people. Not so good on the heart, though. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. That's kind of gross. Please touch me with that hand, and I'll remove it. <laughs> I kind of gotta agree with her on that part, and that's saying something. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Screw you! I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's what I needed. All right. Well, there we go. Man, she got out of that one really quick. You owe much to your father. All these guardians and Sir Oren too. And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The yeah, world well. Must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Bronson. Not everybody wants to go with a this hooker, has so. Nothing to do with my father. <laughs> I'm traveling on my own as a full-fledged son. You can't tell me you ain't a hooker. You basically oh, got your ass so? hanging out, so. Then try Get your ass hanging your out. You're wearing a thong and once. something that barely covers your tits. You a hooker. <laughs> your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Alright. Ixion. Yep, confirm. There we go. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. We spent the night here. Hey, well. Uh, you know what? Let me go inside here, see if there's anything good. Oh, hey, look, a chisel chest. True. Switch hitter. Cool. What's up? What are you? No, I'm good. I'm good. I just wanted to figure out what uh, what the deal was. All right. Well, let me save it and we'll head on. Hey, bitch. We need you to wake up so we can hit the road. She was working. Healing the wounded. Oh. Sending the fallen. Well, that might actually okay. make a little more sense. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I guess she's waking up. Ah. <laughs> Morning. What? Morning? Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, you're good. But it's morning. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I've just been informed you were working all night. Uh, Don't worry about it. Away. Just a moment. 
You're good. You got your clothes on. That's all that matters. Just hit the road. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, sleepyhead. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there really is. with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. It's fine. Uh, we Who cares? To you, but with all that have y'all seen the kind of environment that y'all are living in? Who cares? <laughs> mm, what is it today? Everyone's picking on me. Because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized the only one really laughing then was me. Yeah, they were basically all picking on her just, the only thing keeping them going. just to try to get everybody a little, uh, a little happy, yeah. Hey, well, let's hit the road. Off What's so up, y'all? Yep. Lady Yuna, you hey, there's a long be road ahead. After working so hard last night, will you be okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First, we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find Chocobos, yeah, you might need to do that. We'll ride again. Huh? You're gonna have to train them first. Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! <laughs> what took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a Chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. <laughs> hey. Where to oh. next? We cross the moon flow. All gotcha. right. Moon flow, baby, here we come. Cool. Hey, well, let's head on. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. Or don't suck. <laughs> Such an asshole thing to say. Alright. Oh boy. Alright, what y'all got? Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? What? Well, nothing like him. What the hell? Are you Both blind or something? Summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless. Hornless. <laughs> <laughs> you come to insult Kimari. Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Uh huh. Summoners disappear. Never return. Yeah, we can already got that uh, that message. Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari lost his horn. Next, lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> All right, later, bitches. Those two. Something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. No, yeah, so I can't remember hell. if uh, it's ever Kimari mentioned how Kimari lost his horn. But uh, kind of a good question. It's Kimari's problem. We can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They 
they aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Ooh. Confidence. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, big talk. Hey, what's up, girl? We meet again. Mm-hmm. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've yeah, seen kind of. You know, aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. I mean, if you had a big you enough right. Machina weapon, you might do it, but just saying. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. Well, yep, sure I'll do it, but I'm probably going to get fucked. I'm ready. <laughs> That's the spirit. But before we begin... Yeah. I have healed your aeons. Yeah. Yeah, this is Ixion. <laughs> Call whichever aeon you want. Yeah, all right, well. Might as well grand summon it. I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked, but sure, whatever. And straight to whooping your ass as much as I can. There it is. A lot of damage, but not quite enough. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. Alright. Ow. 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 Hmm. Well, that's about to get three more attacks, so I'm out. I don't know. I have no idea how this is going. I, like I said, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked. Okay, come on, come, let me let me have a turn. Yeah, hellfire that bitch. Let me finish it off. Get out of here. Hell yeah. Of course, I'm about to lose eye free, but whatever. Wait, what? You're actually giving up after I knock out one of them? What the You're hell? Good. You bested me fairly. Here, your <laughs> prize. Go on, take it. Alright, I'll be honest, I'm not going to complain about that. I look forward to meeting you. Alright, thanks for that. That was awesome. Hell yeah. This is the moon flow. <laughs> These are moon lilies. Pretty they cool. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? That would be cool to see. Waiting till nightfall. <laughs> then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. I mean, honestly, it looks pretty awesome as it is, but... Hey, hey. we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. <laughs> I 
<laughs> There's your shoe puff. Thing looks like a giant anteater. This is a shoe puff. Whoa! Let's ride. Come on, let's go. All right, we board soon as we're ready, huh? Well, I'll take the treasure chest. What's up, Oaka? Oaka, at your service. What you got? Stuff I don't care about. All right, moving on. No, I don't think so. It's bad idea. <laughs> yes. Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This yeah. guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. I mean, uh, look at how big that thing is. It's kind of big. It's just not fair. Not, not uh, really the sheep puff, but the chocobo. Point, though. I so feel like what? you could probably you handle the chocobo. Yeah, hey, I don't I didn't know. Say that. Just. <sighs> I mean, it's a it bird. No it's good. got we'll hollow bones. It should be fine, right? We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But. That'll take days. Yep, do what you gotta Where do. There's a will, there's a way. Oh boy. <laughs> That's our captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get to it. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> those words stayed with me. Yep, yep, those have been words I know my dad has said for years, so. Yeah, anyway, let me uh, just snag this real quick. There we go. And we'll give it a save real quick. What's up, dude? Rides the shoe puff? Absolutely. All aboard. You know, it just kind of occurred to me. I feel like I'm living in like a world where uh, it kind of almost feels like Star Wars, honestly. Hey, huh? there's a lot of weird Take a creatures. Look. What? Like sentient creatures. Whoa! A sunken city. Oh, yeah. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Hmm. Right. It's a good lesson. They didn't think to regularly stress test it. Like, you know, check it. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. <laughs> they just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. but still, you could, I'm not you could so do sure it. About that. Yevon has taught us when humans have power, they seek to use it. Granted, it would take an absolutely huh? insane amount of like metal to do it. Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon. It decides which machina we may use and which we may not. Well, that's so what kind shit. of machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. You or mean war guns? Will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. What, what happened then? I mean, aren't we kind of already in that Sin situation? I mean, we've been that way for years. And their machina. 
the war ended, and our reward was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. What could that be? Oh boy. Sit down. Sorry. Ah! Oh the shit. Albed. Well, yeah, okay. Yep, jump in, yep. Okay. Yep, I guess this is what they were warning us about. <laughs> All right, well. Let's say, let's give us a little bit of a, uh, a bonus with some haste. Oh shit. Ouch. Alright. You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and do uh do the overdrive. Okay. Damn it. Alright. Yeah, kind of figured that wouldn't do much. All right, well, let's go ahead and give uh, Waka some haste as well. The amount of turns we can get is going to make a big difference. Hey. Seriously, doubt that's going to work, but hey, we'll try it. Yep, yeah. all right, that's what I figured. All right, um... Shit. I really need electricity damage. Surprisingly, this thing's taking quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, we are both equipped with weapons that are not exactly uh, designed to take this thing on. But having haste is definitely going to help because it allows us to put a whole lot more damage in. Uh, in the same time frame. Alright, we've only got a thousand left to take down. So, I said we just try to hammer into this asshole and see what we can do. Go ahead, do it. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll go for Titus. He's, uh, he's got the least damage done to him. Ah, uh, yeah. Pick that motherfucker out. Hell yeah. What I'm talking about. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. <sighs> ah, those outfit. Is everybody okay? I I'm sorry. Yeah, they're good. We're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Super full speed ahead. Whatever that was was some pansy ass bullshit. Damn the outfit. What do they want from us? Could it have something to do with Luca? What are they after uniform? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Doubtful. Oh, wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I'm also wonder, doubtful. Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? That. So the that right there. That. Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Damn. 
<laughs> hey, what the shit? It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. <sighs> There's a chest over there. I guess we can see. The fuck? Oh yeah, that's right. You're not dead. This is how we get to Riku. Uh, uh? <laughs> What's up, Riku? How you doing, girl? It's been a little while since uh -huh. I've seen you. What the hell? Riku! You're Riku! Wow, this, uh, this friend hey. just jumped forward. <laughs> uh, you're okay! How you been? Uh, Terrible. she got fucked up by yeah, us. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh, that Machina? That was you? <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's a lot of weird oh, glitches that happen really in this hurt, game. You, know. you big meanie. <sighs> wait, wait, but yeah, you what can I say? Us. You were kind of coming after oh, us, you big cutie. Exactly what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu. I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's in our bed. <laughs> oh, yeah, Walker right there, uh, yeah. Uh, wow, so you're like, <laughs> all your life. One luck meeting here, yeah? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. <laughs> huh? There's something yeah, we, we kind of whooped to discuss. You and Ty just kind of whooped her ass. I'm just saying. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Oren? I would like Riku to be my guardian. Okay. So, when the fuck did this dude become Show like, huh? you know, Look the oh, so arbiter okay. of whether or not somebody can be a guardian? Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? Hundred percent. So, anyway, can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. Mm. Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Riku's the shit. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right up. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. <laughs> it was strange. <laughs> Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Yep. <laughs> well, we have been expecting you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Sala. This is like uh, the this place way, for the mo people. This way. <laughs> uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. 
Mm -hmm. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Gotcha. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. You think Isn't that maybe me? her guardians can be involved in this? Please, uh, come inside the manor. All will be explained. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. You damn right we are. Twist our arms, why don't you? <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. What would you do without me? I don't know. What can I say, Riku? Oh, hello. Let's take this chest. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go in here. This way, please. Mm-hmm. No, right, well, I guess I'm coming in. I will go inform Lord Seymour. Yep. I got you. I get the feeling he called us. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. Uh huh. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining things. You'd rather <laughs> I say nothing point. then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin, too? Mm -hmm. Well, a there bit are of a many point. things I do not know. Your Xanarkind is one of those things. Mm -hmm. I suppose I can't say what I think either way. <laughs> Still, be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. What's up, Yuna? How you doing with all this? What could it be? Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Riku's just digging in. I mean, you know, I, Riku is like my spirit animal in this case. I'd just probably be digging in myself. <laughs> Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. <laughs> you sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Mm-hmm. It is good to have guests again. What, you don't have them Lord normally? Passed away. These oh, that sucks. Have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Mm -hmm. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly okay. a loss for us all. Now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Mm -hmm. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. Okay. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that no, is not all, I think. Mm -hmm. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. <laughs> You're that gonna be sadly disappointed on that. Must I always endure <laughs> such praise? Welcome. You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way.
Well, this is pretty epic. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Well, that's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Correct. Zanarkin. Yep. Absolutely. And he would know because he was there. Approximately, anyway. The great and wondrous Machina city, Zanarkin. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Mm -hmm. Just wander off into who it is. Lady Unaleska! She was the first person to yep. defeat sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. You know? It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm hmm hell is he telling her? I mean, Seymour's full of shit, I'm just saying, but damn, what the fuck is he telling her? I wanna know. Well, right she proposed marriage to her <laughs> I completely forgot that's right damn wow your face is beat red you okay uh, yeah uh, mm, I, oh, I, he he asked me to marry him. Yeah. You serious? Uh, hey. You know what Yuna must That's do. That's his bitch. Of course. Don't you fucking Lady deal. Yuna. <laughs> no. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more hey. than just defeating sin. You she cannot claim somebody else's bitch. Fuck you. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. <sighs> we will do so then. This dude is a fucking nut job. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. It ain't gonna be what you think it is. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why are you still here, sir? 
What the hell? Oh, I beg your right. Pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. <laughs> yes, he didn't actually bring it up in a previous uh, presence. Alright guys, well, uh, I think it's... Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter. Seymour, the leader of the Guado. Married in the name of Yevon. Overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? Hell yeah, I'm jealous. What? No way. We'll we gotta smack defeat your sin. Ass. Romance <laughs> can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the far plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? <laughs> Both good questions. But alright guys, uh, I think on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. If you liked the video, be sure to pounce on that like button. If you haven't already, join the pipe by subscribing below. Good day everyone! <laughs>